Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making meatloaf in the New Wave oven. Alright, I'm starting out here in a large bowl and I have roughly 3 pounds of ground hamburger 80-20 blend. And I'm going to start to season this up. I have some seasoning salt here. I'm going to add some of that in. About a tablespoon. And you want to get your meatloaf well seasoned because if you under season it, it's going to taste like uh, bland like plaster. That's some Italian seasoning here. I'm going to add some of this in. And I'm going to put in about a teaspoon. Same with the oregano. I'm just going to dump this in my hand, make it quicker. Now I'm going to add in some celery seed. And I'm going to put about a half a teaspoon in because this goes a long way, a little bit of celery seed does. Then I'm going to put in some garlic powder. Any spices have my nose running. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of that. Then I'm going to put in some minced onion. Now you could cut fresh onion in here, but uh, I worked late today, so I want to take the easy way out. Just dump some in my hand here. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of that in. Now I'm going to add in some salt and pepper. And about a teaspoon of salt. And a teaspoon of pepper. And these spices have my nose running. Stop whining. It's just so uh, aromatic in here right now. All right, that's good. Now I'm going to crack one egg in here. And I'm going to add some breadcrumb. These are Italian seasoned breadcrumb. About a quarter of a cup for now. I'm going to get in here and mix this up. And if I need to, I'll add more breadcrumb. Okay, now that my hamburger's all mixed, I'm going to form this into two meatloaves. And I have my uh, rack set at the one inch setting. I was watching my dog because she walked by the tripod. I didn't want her bumping it. And I sprayed it down with some food release spray so this, these don't stick. And I'm going to try to get these about the same size. It's going to be close. This one here is a hair bigger. All right. I just want to pack them firm. Okay, I'm going to place my dome on top. And I'm going to set this for 40 minutes on high and after 40 minutes I'll check it and see how it's doing. Alright my 40 minutes are up and I've been checking this with the meat thermometer and it's pretty close to being done if not done my juices are running clear. Now what I'm going to do is I have a can of tomato soup here. I'm going to go in here and smear some of this on top of my meatloaf and I'm going to get it as coated as good as I can and this has a nice hard crunchy uh, outside to it, but the inside is real tender and juicy. All right, now I'm going to put my dome back on here, and I'm going to allow this to cook for probably about two or three minutes, just for that tomato soup to uh, cook a little bit on there. All right, my meatloaf's done. I took it out. Okay, I went ahead and took some of that tomato soup that was left over, and I microwaved it to serve over top of the meatloaf, and I also went ahead and made some garlic mashed potatoes. So there you have it, meatloaf in a new wave oven. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. Until next time, I'll see you.